Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, the image code that's used in session 17 of EECS 1011. So we're going to be looking at how to read an image and then how to do uh, red thresholding on it for red eye reduction. So we're going to go through the MATLAB code to do that. So here we have the image originally. There we go. Okay, so you can see the image right here. It's uh, a woman with uh, her eyes wide open and there's a lot of red in her eyes. So we want to get rid of that. So how do we do it? Well, you could use uh, an image manipulation program like GIMP or Sketchbook or Adobe Photoshop. All of those will work. But we want to do it in MATLAB so we have more control and we can and know what the math is behind it. So let's go to MATLAB and take a look. So here's MATLAB. We're going to start off in the MATLAB code for uh, my file called uh, readmyimage.m. We will clear and uh, close all of the figures first. So we're going to start with a clean slate. The next thing is to read the image and we're going to store it in a variable called i. It'll be a matrix, a three-dimensional matrix called i, and I will read in the file called face image. And if we take a look here, um, actually right here, here is the image itself. In my editor program it's called faceimage.jpg. So I'm going to read that image in. I'm going to create a new figure and in that figure I'm going to break it up into two parts. Um, the subplot 211 means that I'm going to have two uh, figures in one and I want the first one. Whoops, not the f I want the first one. Okay, and we're going to plot to the first subplot of two subplots in a figure window. I'm going to run the im show or image show uh, function on the image that I loaded and it's going to load into or display into the first of the two subplots. It's going to, to uh, display in subplot number one of a two by one uh, feature, uh, figure subplot. I'm going to label it as the original image. From there I'm going to have a, um, a, a three-part for loop. The first one is going to modify the threshold for red. It's going to be the variable k, which I then rename to red threshold, and it will uh, go from 100 to 255 uh, as we go along. So it'll go from lots of red to very little red, and that will be my threshold right there. From there, I will uh, load up the image like this, I will create a new matrix called J, and then I will take a look at its size. It's a three-dimensional matrix, so the number of rows, the number of columns, and the three color layers, red, green, and blue. I will go through a for loop that looks at each row, and then a for loop that looks at each column, and then I'm going to isolate for the red right here. So red is going to be in the um, first depth uh, component of the matrix. Okay, so this is uh, every, pixel i and j, so the row and the columns, and then I want all three color components there, and then I break it up into red, green, oops, red, green, and blue components. Then I take the red component, which I've named red right here, and I will look to see if it's greater than the red threshold, which if we go back up to the for loop right here, will vary from 100 to 255. So we'll vary from a lot of red to a little bit of red. And then if it's above that threshold, I'm going to set it to black. Zero is equal to black. All right, then I end that if statement. I end the, the J uh, for loop, then I end the J I loop. From there, I look at the second plot in the two plot figure. And this one I will put my modified image in. The modified image is called J. I had modified it with some extra black in it, like that. From there, oh, let's get rid of this. This doesn't work. I will create a new title that will be dynamic. The title itself will say modified image with red threshold, and then I will do a num to string or number to string on the number red threshold, creating a string that is concatenated to the string here so that you'll see the value of the threshold changing as the image itself changes. I will pause it for a brief period of time, and then I will redo the same thing, but this time with a decreasing level of threshold. So very little red to a whole lot of red, and it's just going to go in the opposite order. So I'm going to hit run right here, and you're going to see the image and the, the animation. Okay, so here's run. 
Here we go. So on the top here, we have the original image. On the bottom, you're seeing that the threshold is changing upwards. And check the, the, um, the blob of sort of a cyan color on the woman's face. Take a look at the, the two eyes. Notice that this eye right here, her right eye, or from your perspective left, has turned red first. And next, her left eye, or the one on your right, is turning red as we get up to the higher threshold. So we're getting up close to 255, and once it hits 255, it's going to go downward. So you're going to see the blob of, of cyan expanding out. So there's going to be less and less red in her face, and less and less red in her left eye, and then less and less in her right eye. There you go. You're seeing the left eye going black, and then you're seeing a little bit of red disappearing from here, from her cheeks, and then her nose, and now it's her right eye, the one from your left perspective. And you're seeing that the threshold right here is decreasing down to 100. So we're almost there, and now all the red's been removed from her eyes, but also most of the red from her face is gone. And there you have it. That's how we do color thresholding in MATLAB.